Hello, this. Well, it's me, Liliana of Mira. So, I will show you how to install Gaxos 3 lighting engine with UXM method. It's going to take a while, I think. But the first step is to download the UXM. So, just go to this uh, page and then just go download this 2.4 and yada yada, so basically like that. And then uh, you go to, and uh, yeah, this is, uh, I already downloaded it. So, let's go. Oh, the both page UXM. I've made sure to browse to your game files. And then just uh, let me check if we can go to the game folder and then just. Yeah, it's not extracted. And then I'm back. It will take a while, so yeah, let me drop my mic now. Alright, it's done. And then just press X. Alright, let's go. Now, we open the Dark Souls 3 Lightning Engine Windrock Files. So this is what it looks like. So what you need to do is drop this first here and just drag it. Boom. Done. And you go into mop and then shader. Then this is the same powder, so you just need to replace. And then alright. Next thing to do is we just launch Steam and just launch the game and just test if the eating is working or not but let me drop the mic now and watch the gameplay this is what the game looks like with the mods on and yeah this is Still in beta. This is like uh, I post this be before the release of the uh, mod as a you know early tutorial video. You just need to press F1 for to open up the settings, and you can see uh, some stuff that you can lower to gain for more performance.
but well, it seems I only have like 30 or 40 because I was recording, of course, not a big surprise. And yeah, that's that, guys. That's how you install Dark Souls 3 Lighting Indian mod. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and may the flames guide your way.